What's good, family? So, I do want to come at y'all real quick and say that I know I caught y'all off guard with last week's video with the story chopping in the middle. So, I am going to catch y'all up to speed. But the last video that I just dropped blew up like crazy. And we got a whole lot of new subscribers. So, if you haven't watched the last video, part one, which is right here, what I want you to do is go back and watch that right now so then you can catch up to this. But this is exactly how... I closed my first deal. What happened? What did I learn? The process is a closing. I don't want you to get the end and not get the beginning. So go back, check that video out right now. Uh, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for this just this explosion of subscribers and support. What I want y'all to do right now is like this video, subscribe to the channel, like co-subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. But let's get it. After the intro, we're gonna finish the rest of the video for the story. We got our first official offer in my email. It was for 32,000 cash. Uh, it was high on the contingencies. They actually wanted a 45 day close. Uh, they actually, uh, I think it was a long inspection period. It was just contingency deep is what I call it. Then I actually got another contract. I think it was like an hour or two later uh, for $35,000 cash. And uh, this one was contingency deep as well, but not as deep as the other one. They only wanted, they wanted a 20 day inspection period and they were closing within a month. And I was like, listen, okay, both of y'all, we now have a multiple offer situation. I need y'all to offer your highest and best. Highest, obviously you want the highest price, but the best is also the terms because listen, a, a 20 day inspection period with today's market is not gonna cut it. 45 day closing is not gonna cut it, especially when you have cash and you can close within days. So I actually reached out to them. They both was like, okay, we can do highest and best. Uh, this, the, and then the crazy thing, because the person who actually offered 32 was the buyer. So I would've got both ends of the deal. And um, I would've got both ends of the deal. And uh, what would've happened was I would've made more money, honestly. And then the other person, they actually had an agent, which is actually less stress for me. So. Um, the guy was like, listen, we can come back. We can come back and offer 40. Just give me a day to get the uh, pre-approval letter. And what I'll do is um, I'll get that sent out to you. So as I was waiting on that, I actually had a buyer who hit me up. While I was waiting on the contract, she hit me up. and was like, listen, I like this property. I want to go by and check it out. She went by, checked it out. When she was done, I actually called her and was like, how was it? What you think about the property? She said, I love it. I actually want to buy it. I want to buy. She said, I want to do 40 cash. I was like, 40 cash? Okay, she said, I can close in three days. I'm like, listen, okay. I said, all right, so what I would need you to do is send me over a contract. We'll go ahead and get that taken to the side office. She was like, I don't know how to write up a contract or anything like that. Can you do it for me? Yeah, I can do it for you, no problem. What's your email address, all this stuff? I just need you to send me over proof of funds. She screenshotted a bank account, sent it over to me, send me your email address, all this stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm, I'm gonna get both sides of the deal at $40,000 cool that's amazing so um wrote up the contract all of this so sent it out to her once i sent it out to her i actually reached out to the agent who was sending me the the, uh, the highest and best he was actually sending me forty thousand as well but he was closing i think 30 days later and i was like listen this is the best deal for my for my sellers i said this is what we're gonna go with okay reached out so he said okay that's that's good uh, congratulations all right cool i tell me why i wake up that morning text the lady no response text the lady no response i said listen i'm not gonna text her no more i'm just gonna call her give her some time i gave her an hour to text me back she did it i called this lady 10 times within a 30 minute span no response and the next thing she did was text me and it was like after thinking about it i don't want to go through with this deal anymore I was like, whoa. So now I'm in scramble mode. And I'm thinking, now I got to reach out to this agent. Let them know that we want to take this offer now because of this and this and this and this. And man, I reached out to him. I was like, listen, we want to take your offer now. He was like, okay. I let my buyer know. I'm pretty sure she's not going to offer what, you, what she offered before. But listen, I'll let her know. And I'll get back with you by five. Cool. And I, at this point, I'm like, listen, I don't want to deal with nobody else. I just want to get this thing in escrow, get this thing closed. I'm done with it. Next thing I you know, I get a message from Facebook. Somebody offered 45,000 cash. I'm like, 
I'm, I said, listen, I'm done with this. I don't want to deal with nobody else. Open the message, let it go. Like 20 or 30 minutes later, I get a, I get a message, a call from an agent. And it's like, listen, I got a buyer who is really interested in this property. He wants to go check it out. Cool, go ahead. We got, you got it, make it quick. I said, make it quick. You got until five, we actually get an offer. And whatever one comes first is actually what I'm, I'm gonna go with. She's like, okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and write, up, write it up now because they really want the property. Guess who the buyer was? The same guy who hit me up 20 minutes earlier, offered 45,000 cash. So they walked the project and was like, Liddy, listen, we want it. We wanna go through with it. No contingencies, no nothing. We'll close in seven days. Let's go. All right, send the paperwork over. They sent it over. We accept it. We accept it. They 45 cash, no contingencies, no inspection, no nothing, closing in seven days. I said, we can't, I mean, you can't walk away from this. Come on, now we're we gonna sign this. Send it over to the title company. Um, then uh, had to deal with situations with my sellers. Uh, they were older, so they, they really didn't know too much about how the process works. Uh, signing with e-documents and all this stuff. How does it work, you know, with the, with the uh, as Graham Stephan calls it, the illness. Uh, how does that work? Do we come in, do we not? So after all of that stuff, um, just pull the deal closer, like, listen, okay, we good. We're closing in seven days. I'm thinking to myself, listen, if I can just hold it down for seven days, we good. So pushing, 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 pushing. I think two days before closing, I actually got a call from the agent and was like, listen, we need to extend closing. I'm like, wait, why? Because the property that they were trying to sell to give them the cash to pay for this property hasn't sold yet. They found a leak in the property they need to extend closing. No. <laughs> So I had to have a conversation with my seller and was like, listen, we need to extend closing. Like, why, why, I took off, I took off, I wanted to be there, why, why, why? I said, listen, it's just seven days. Uh, they wanna push it out, it's because of contingencies, uh, it's because of financing. And uh, we, you know, we're we this close. Let's just, let's just give us some time. And uh, I don't even know if I actually touched on this, but before the sellers actually wanted to cancel the whole listing agreement and everything. And I was just like, no. Uh-uh, we're not doing this again. Because if you know, the same seller canceled my first listing agreement. And I was like, we're not doing this again. Listen, the reason why we're doing this is to make money. I don't know of any other way other than real estate or you just have a boatload of cash where you can sell something and get this amount of cash. You're not gonna get it anywhere else. So let's take what we can get and roll with it. At that moment, that's when we had the $35,000 offer. And I was like, listen, all right, 35, we're just gonna take it. He was like, okay. And I was like, all right, cool. We're going to take it. This is, uh, it was like, you know what? We need some time to think about it. We're going to think about it. And that's how we got to. Now we at the point where it's like, she's like, listen, we doing, we've been through all my, I was like, listen, come on. We, we this close. We this close to closing. It's just seven days. We got the addendum signed, extended closing. Everything was smooth selling. I think I actually got a text from the agent on Monday. Skeleton, tell Closing was scheduled for Thursday. My birthday was Wednesday. So I said, listen, she sent me a text message. and was like, At the funds are in escrow. We are clear to close on, on Thursday. And I was like, I don't believe it. <laughs> I'll believe it when I get there. But Thursday came, went up there at 8.30. If you see it today in the life vlog, I actually was a little late because I was vlogging. If y'all don't know, if you're an agent and you actually doing that in the life vlogs, that junk take extra time. It's just like something extra to do. But um, went there closing and um, I actually got the check over there. I can actually pull it up and show y'all. I still got the check. I haven't started my business bank account yet. But went in there and as an agent in the closing process, all we are there for is uh, just support. I had I signed some documents and that was just because I was there as a witness, but not as a real estate agent. I had to sign, I didn't have to sign my check. I didn't, I think I do that at the bank, but you really just there as a support guy. And um, I, I am gonna be on the, uh, on my next deal that I got in escrow. Um, I am gonna be on the buyer and seller side on that one as well. So I'll get to experience the buyer side, but that one is pretty smooth. So it's, when that one closes, I'll make a, a, a a video about that one as well but what else what else what else when closing happened man uh they cut the check and i swear like i said in the video man that junk is surreal bro 
Like it's it's just crazy. And I'm I'm talking to the people who come from where I come from. Like to be down and uh, to just dream of being a real estate agent. Like my whole life, bro. Like my whole life, I just like being from. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a whole video on who am I and all. But man, being where I'm from, and to just you know have that moment where you realize, dang, that's possible. Like that, you you can't pay for it. But um, after all the stress, after all that, uh, s what is that? Sixty days? No, six months. Six months as a real estate agent. Six months in, I got my first deal, and it was only two thousand one hundred and fifty bucks. But it's my first deal, small beginnings. The next one gonna be bigger. Yes, yeah, sir. But um, enough of that. Enough is said. Um, I'm actually about to record some more videos because uh, I actually want to hit. I want to hit. I want to be monetized this year. I want to hit one thousand subscribers by the end of May. Let's put it out there. One thousand subscribers. 4,000 watch hours by the end of May. Let's get done. Let's do it. I'm gonna pump out more videos, more story times, uh, money content, wholesaling, investment. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna talk about some more stuff. Uh, do some more day in the life vlogs. Uh, show y'all the actual process. Um, we're gonna get it going. Let me know what other stuff y'all want to see in videos in the future. Uh, drop it in the comment section down below. But there's not much more for me to say. But click right here to subscribe and click right here to watch our next video.